So hello friends and hello doctors and today I will be telling you the new updates in Marrow Edition 5 and the Clinical Core Edition and how this evolutionary edition will change the approach to prepare for the postgraduate exams. So why was there a need of a Clinical Core Edition launch as previous editions were are also good. Uh, so why you must be thinking that why is the need for Clinical Core Edition launch. So many aspirants are busy preparing for NEET PG during their internship period. So they are not uh, going to the clinics and they are not doing their internship properly or they are lack of uh, patient load somewhere. So they are not expo exposed to the patients and there is clinical concept lack of the clinical concepts as they are not exposed to the patients. So now with this clinical core edition, they will be able to learn the clinical details of the same medical condition with the notes. See if they are reading something that they are uh, hyperthyroidism or hypothyroidism for example and they are seeing the case along with the clinical features you know, which have been explained with the case or the images you will not be able to forget these kind of things very easily so this will help you in retaining and solving the questions as well and during the exam secondly uh, what we have observed a great change in the trend of examinations since 2020 need pg and inic 80 2020 the clinical questions have increased up to more than 100 percent previously there were the trend of uh, asking the one-liners so you just have to just have to mug up the things and you can solve the questions but now it is not the same you need to get your clinical concepts well then only you will be able to solve that questions now what's new in this edition 5 other than the edition 4 so what i witnessed when i reviewed that edition 5 and new and helpful things in this the clinical core approach which is very interesting i found it very very useful and i will be telling you about this uh, later now marrow life plus they have been launching then this new thing that marrow life plus the question bank has been updated and their edition 5 notes so these four things what I found are very interesting and helpful in this edition 5. So first of all, we will be talking about the clinical core approach. What is this? So the most important inclusion in this update and how it is the most important inclusion. See, the, the important topics are not changing. If the exam is changing from need PG to next or anything, the important topics are not changing. But only thing which is going to be changed is the implementation of the points that you learned before. For example, you understand that uh, you might have heard that rose spots are seen in typhoid. So previously there is a one liner that rose spots are seen in which disease and there are four A, B, C, D different diseases were there in the options and you have to just mark typhoid thing. But nowadays the questions are not that same. Now this time they are asking rose spots in a picture question with a clinical uh, picture of a patient having rose spots and now the options will be the same. Now if you know that rose spots are present in typhoid, have you seen them before? Then only you will be able to answer the question correctly because if you don't uh, see this clinical case the rose spots in a real or in uh, the clinical picture you will be confused that the red spots they are the red spots they can be in any disease the options are very similar nowadays so this is one of the advantage of this clinical core approach one more example i want to give you i want to share with you what i found it that uh, in case of intestinal perforation it is an emergency condition so you diagnose it by looking at the air under diaphragm in the chest x-ray or the usg spot if you are having ultrasound whole abdomen so previously this was asked as a one-liner that how to diagnose so you can say air under diaphragm in the chest x-ray but now they are giving the chest x-ray or the usg spot as the question with the picture and you have to diagnose that it is intestinal perforation or it is a normal gas or what it is so this is the difference they have included in this clinical core approach so they will be making you learn by this method so that you can be able to solve and think the diagnosis at the time of exam Now confusion, how to switch from edition 4 to edition 5. See many of the students are confused about this uh, new edition 5 update as they have already finished half or more than half the videos with the edition 4. So don't worry about it. Uh, I think how to approach the new edition. I have found some uh, good thing for you. So every faculty, every Mero faculty has shot an introductory video in the starting for those who have come with who have been switching from edition 4 to edition 5 edition that explaining that the videos which are uh, conceptual and relevant topics from other subjects are well linked with this clinical with this clinical correlation so you will be able to uh, find them very very helpful in solving the questions like uh, for example if you are studying anemia so anemia you can study from pathology as well as medicine so you will be able to find all the correlations for that uh, anemia in that video in the particular video and that topic will be covered from all of the subjects there itself so this is a good thing in this edition 5 now what is that marrow life plus this life plus let's uh, understand this with an example since see if you are studying a topic suppose the uh, inborn error of metabolism it will be clinically correlated with how the patient present to you in the casualty and how to investigate accordingly by seeing that uh, the clinical symptoms and uh, find the correct diagnosis to treat that patient in a minimal time so this is marrow life plus they have shown that uh, the patient come in uh, emergency with such such complaints and they find that uh, yes this uh, 
investigation uh, is positive and uh, if they are giving any of the treatment that is not working but that after the diagnosis they are very sure that the diagnosis is this and afterwards they have changed the medication and the patient responded immediately so this is uh, how they have explained the whole involved error of metabolism in spite of just teaching the important points and just moving on so you will be able to uh, understand it well and not able to forget so easily and that things will be in your mind when there is a question with the, all the clinical symptoms and the treatment and everything has been given in this uh, in a question form so you will be able to click that in a very short time and you will be able to take the answer so this is how this narrow life plus have been designed and uh, the videos have been vertically integrated with clinical correlation with the image descriptions as well so some important images see, as i discussed before the clinical symptoms some peculiar symptoms signs which are seen in some of the diseases and uh, the correlation with that i saw that anemia and many of the things that are uh, similar in many of the topics like in surgery and medicine pathology everything is integrated uh, at one time and uh, they will be explaining it well so this is how it has been designed also, I have seen while reviewing that some surgical videos and clinical examination videos which will be helping you to solve the clinical video based questions in NEET PG and NEXT PG whatever it is in the future. So this is be very helpful if you in your first year PG residency if you are choosing a clinical branch as well. So you will be knowing the basics. That's nice. Now the updated question bank. Uh, I review, as I reviewed many questions I also found feedback from many of the users in the recent edition 5Q bank. I saw and they are telling that it is regularly getting updated with the new clinically related explanations to every question and yes the the that critical things that are reviewed by the faculties that so that the these are error free and the, some of that recent trend examination questions have been added in this question bank which are more oriented towards the clinical approach have been seen has been seen in the recent exams in the 2020 also some uh, questions which are controversial and so the explanation has been modified in such a way that uh, why this answer should be the why should, this should be the answer for that question and why not the others so this is by the faculty it is well designed this time the things in the question bank so making that error free and solving most of the controversial questions as well and uh, now talking about the addition 5 notes some good things in addition 5 notes that high resolution pictures and which are easy to understand and if they are replicated in the questions you will be able to mark them as the answers as well and uh, clinical concepts the focus have been very much increased this in this edition on clinical concepts to be more hundreds of new recent exam questions have been added and highlighted in the notes so you will be able to find out that what is important and from where the examiners are able to pick the mcq so you will be revising that kind that topic very well and you will be able to find out that what are the important things which you should be revising for the things and the uh, notes are more concise and error free Edition 5 which is more helpful for everyone and for that future exams like the clinical approach oriented program. So these are the new things which I found uh, after reviewing it and that are helpful for you in edition 5 of Marrow. Thanks.